Hi everybody, this is CVGS, I'm the Captain here, and welcome to Cup Fight 163. Yes, we have another Cup Fight for you guys right now. If you guys have noticed, there isn't a tournament fight uh, this week. I apologize for that because we weren't able to secure any uh, recordings for the tournament fight. Uh, but yeah, we have a nice matchup for you, and this is actually a matchup between Asakura Yo and Barra Magnus. Uh, one of our old friends, Kaka, actually is uh, coming back to Vanguard, and he has himself the... the the Yo deck as well as the How deck as well. He invested into Shaman King because he's a big fan of Shaman King. So yeah, he's just coming in and just trying to relearn the game also. So this is actually one of the last games that we played in just the whole bunch of practice matches that we had also. So I decided to set up the camera and then let's go. And yeah, we actually had a really, really fun fight also. Although I will let you guys know that there's going to be a whole bunch of misplays here. So especially in the early game also, I'll let you guys know. By the way, uh, I'd like to thank everybody for being so responsive to our Card Fight 162 uh, video between Historical Unica as well as as uh, Roro War 2 as well. I'm glad to see that uh, you know people are super responsive uh, to, towards the card fights coming back. So even though this is not its final form, I'm still dumping over. We are shooting at top 6 uh, card shop. And as we stand on the Vanguard, so the environment is kind of noisy right now as I'm hearing it through my headphones. But yeah, uh, all in all, uh, yeah, we will just, as long as we are shooting in noisy environments, you guys will get me, although this commentary voice will only be dedicated to uh, Turbo Fights. So, so long as we are able to uh, so as we're still shooting in a uh, top six or so in the noisy environment that we have so but nevertheless uh, we go into the commentary right now let's straight into the gameplay so I'm riding into uh, uh, Deep Solar and Deep Solar Soul, Soul Charge 1 and uh, yeah uh, attacks get a draw trigger on Kakasai and yeah he just move over so now take note I do notice that his sleeves were, were uh, are the same as the right deck too as well and uh, yeah there's there's a few oversights here but hey this is just a casual game also this is mainly just a casual game also but of course also even in a casual game there are some uh things that you know that cannot be be forgiven which also, which means misplaced basically and there's gonna be some in the early game i'll let you guys know about this uh very soon but i think it's an oversight uh from kaka side and also my side too as well because i didn't read the card until after i did the deck list and whatnot so i got it for uh, for ami damaru even though it has no critical it's a spirit it has zero critical which means that it wouldn't have done any damage to me i could just take it and you know you know i wouldn't have taken any damage also so that's mainly oversight for there i got it early in that sense but hey the match goes on also and you know both of us are just having a good time as i said this is the one of the last matches that we had uh before uh we all left for the day so yeah, we just basically just, you know, Kaka's just trying to get back into the groove and whatnot and me just trying to test out Barra Magnus, right, with uh, with the new set 9 card, so uh, the new double R that came out for Barra Magnus, so it didn't get much, but it's nice, so, and I can, once the card comes into play, if it does, I will mention it, but uh, yeah, you, you you guys will be able to see it, so uh, Kaka actually calling out Ana, Goddess of Victory, Ana behind, so the skill is that if you there, there goes the, the new card. Uh, the skill is that oh here we go another misplay. I'll get to Ana in a second, but I have to mention that this is a huge misplay right here because Ami Damaru does not have any criticals. So you only get plus critical right if you are in Oversoul. If your Vanguard is in Oversoul state, so that didn't happen for 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 Kaka side. So I should have taken the damage there, but it's a huge misplay. But anyways, as I was saying about Ana, Ana basically is uh, allows the Vanguard Kalabas one rest her, and then she can actually restand the Vanguard. Uh, uh, yeah, and resend the Vanguard basically. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, the nice thing about these card fights, right, is that I can be a bit more personal here, especially if I'm playing, so I can actually talk more about, about what my strategies are. And playing Adamantine, Color Blast 1, to get plus 1 Soul Charge, even though I Soul Charge like 3 triggers, that's fine. The count here is that, uh, I w the, the count here or the goal that I'm trying to do, right, is to achieve 15 of over triggers gone. Uh, to achieve 15. In on like turn three right now, so and that involves getting nine cards into so and helps a lot with it. So the DO6 really was like a godsend for Barra Magnus uh, next to set seven as well, which gave us a really really awesome grade two as well. Uh, but yeah, so uh, but at least I got twelve in there right now. So Color Blast one, uh, get to draw one card plus taking one uh, one crit to my Vanguard. Barra Magnus was attacking on his own right now, but hey, uh, if I combine this with his uh, with uh fifteen soul, uh. You know, and plus Persona, right? That actually is immense power. So, and if you know what grade two I'm talking about, right, from set seven, you guys will know. You you guys will know what I mean. Also, in terms of my like, high power. So, and that's what's really nice about about Barra Magnus. Also, but anyways, there's a double crit right there. So these two are actually kind of similar in nature. In the fact that Yo and Barra Magnus actually gets a plus critical. Uh, they don't. Of course, one plays fifteen soul, the other plays over soul. So, you know, hence that's where we get the title from. So yeah. Uh, going after his Ami Damaru because I don't want to give him, I need to make him work for his uh, for his Ami Damaru also, so they can go into Oversoul. But nevertheless, uh, Adamantine does get plus 10k because I got 10 or more cards in the soul. It's currently 12 right now, so yeah. 
the nice thing about, about overdress right now I can say right is that you can kind of boil some things down to basic math and so when you once you ride the bar minus you have six in the soul if you follow the entire right line up and if you play the, the original right line so, uh, deep sonica electro spartan uh, if you play the magical pony of course the magical pony will give you uh, one plus as well uh, but I don't play the pony unfortunately so yeah I like the pony it's just I never got around to, to the idea so I like to keep my, my decks pure so it, it's a bit more of a casual reasoning from there so but as you can see um kaka is actually riding up to the spirit of sword uh, asakura yo so uh it does have a different skill from the original one and let me just pull up the 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 other skill here on the side too as well uh so yeah when it's placed on uh, vegas against must take you one critical so that's happening right there and the overall ability is that by sending one army damaru regard into the soul uh, then for the turn, all units in the front row gets plus 10k, and when this unit will attack, it will attack all units in the same column. So, pretty dangerous on my end also, especially if it decides to go after the, uh, go after Curtis and Adamantine also. But, uh, but of course, Kaka doesn't play in that sense. The, 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 the whole entire column attack is just a bonus for him, because, uh, with Kaka, right, Kaka is actually, like, he has a Yo deck. I did mention earlier that he has a How deck too as well, and we're about to see How come into play because uh, How is actually one of, uh, it's actually Kaka's, like, one of his more favorite characters in Shaman King. And he loves the ability that he can get, so, uh, with, uh, with How and also the Spirit of Fire too as well. So that's kind of, like, his, his, his goal there, so. But nevertheless, he's attacking with, uh, with How and attacking. Uh, gets rid of the adamant team, but I believe that might be a misplay on that as well because uh, the house ability is basically when Spirit Fire attacks, they can raise his unit with Taiwan and Regards, but unfortunately that wasn't really happening. So, um, again, a bit of misplaced over here, but uh, again, as I mentioned, Kaka is coming back into the game. He's just trying to relearn all of his card skills right now, and I'm not uh, wary of the card skills for, for Shaman King deck, and I didn't ask, so that's mostly my fault. But you can see Ana actually uh, coming in. Uh, and then after that, uh, you know, resting yourself, Karabas 1, then your attacks because the attack didn't go off. I, I PG, I double PG in this attack. So, yeah, because I don't want to be risked to lose the game. One of our play one of our games also involved him like, okay, I just got for 2 or so. So it's kind of like, okay, I didn't get a critical trigger, then I just immediately lose to 6. I was at 3 or so. So you can see some like, like uh, old battle scars here <laughs> kind of showing it. So. But me and I right now coming in with the Gratias. So Gratias, uh, I get to activate Persona right. So plus thank you to the front row. Uh, and the draw 1 2 as well. My hand size is looking pretty low, but uh, I do have 12 in there right now. I would rather have Rhoda Bar Magnus so that I can make the count 13, but uh, you know, I'll take the Gratias. But I do have the, the, the order card from set 7 as well. Uh, so it allows me to Soul Charge 3. Uh, and after that, it gives the skill. Of, uh, it gives the backup the skill. If I have um, uh, ten or more cards in the soul, then this unit gets plus five k. Uh, all my units in front gets plus five k. So it's a backup given ability. Unfortunately, I know counter blast right now, so I'm not able to use uh, uh, bar Manister's ability. Uh, I did had to guard off also because they didn't want to risk a critical. So uh, so I had to take the double backup attack and lose my two bgs in that sense. So but, hey, what are you gonna do? Uh, you do have to to figure this out. So and and this also made me think also, what if I needed to play cards like? Selfish Engraver, so some counter charges also in order for me to be able to uh, to get some counter charge when I need it also. But, you know, uh, if the opponent knows that also, then they will wisely guard it off, so it's a bit no different, so I might as well just swing with the Vanguard, get myself a draw trigger, draw one, then wonder where to get, give the bus 10k to, and I'll give it to Curtis right there on the side, and then second check, um, yeah, another Brainwash Willis, so I have a whole bunch of Brainwash Willis, but I'm not using them, so, uh, which is kind of funny, but you know, maybe I was uh, I was using mostly for them for guards so, but yeah. Wasn't able to see Brainwash Solar, so, but but Adamantine combined with Brainwash Solar actually does provide a whole bunch of... Uh, uh, does provide a whole bunch of uh, soul, and all, in, which in turn means a lot of power for uh, Brainwash Solar. So, so Adamantine was really, really a very, very nice card as well. Generic too as well, so, so if you use it in Bruce, you, you could. Uh, violence boost, I should say, not Vyamans boost. But uh, yeah, uh, if you really need that soul also for one reason other than, than, than yeah, it's a really good card. Nevertheless, now Kaka gets a turn and he gets the persona right, so he gets to draw one plus a hundred uh, plus not yet there, we're I mean, not yet there. Uh, plus take it to the entire front row, and of course, so Yo will get the plus 10k one critical two as well because he is placed on the Vanguard circle. 
Alright, and then um, pulling back the how and then after that uh, attacking with uh, sorry, oversoling with uh with the draw trigger army tomorrow. So yeah, all units of Raro gets plus 10k. And he will take the entire column from there. And gotta mention that he gets a plus one critical too as well. He should get another plus 10k too as well. But once again, I apologize to everybody. Uh that was misplaced and I didn't even check also as a as a opposite player. So, so I really should have been a bit more helpful in that sense also. But uh as you can see, uh Kaka now calling down uh uh, how and using invocation to actually search out for the spirit of fire right now okay so the other how that he put down the other great to how so basically skill is that so blast three and choose one his regards and retire and then he's unique as critical so he's looking to remove my board so we get rid of those curtises so and just really be a bit more of a, a bane there so so yeah then of course the spirit of course the timing is a bit off here and I will let Kaka know I will let Kaka know immediately after this recording or after I, this video goes up I should say so that Spirit of Fire needs to attack in order for for uh in order for uh how to be able to use his ability so but it's okay. Kaka is as I mentioned as I mentioned he's coming back to the game so he's still relearning a few things right now so so a whole bunch of mistakes but we still have a very very fun match still so and it still goes on so yeah so he does use the soul blast tree from from how to to uh uh from how to get the plus one critical two as well. So you can see he paid the cost and whatnot also. But anyways, he attacks with the Vanguard right now. So if I block this off, Anna is still there. Uh, and I choose to no guard. This will be two damage. I have to take damage somehow. So but Kakuga is a heal trigger. The damage I haven't counted is like four to three right now. Uh, then he gives power to, uh, to how there. So even if I he did, even if we did miss the tank here, so, um, and I still took the damage. I needed damage. I'd rather take the two so that I can avoid the restand from from Ana. So, <laughs> all in all, I, I just gotta be careful in that sense. So but yeah, but by right, uh, but by right there should be a retire here basically. Uh, after when Spirit of Fire attacks, but Spirit of Fire does have the ability is that it gains plus twenty k and plus one critical. Uh, if there is a how unit on the field, so yeah, and I managed to full hand guard the 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 last how too as well. So, oof, <laughs> oof, indeed so. Alright, so there are only one card left in hand, but I do have 50 cards in the soul and 2 card blast to use. So, so here we go. I wanted this on turn 3, but I ended up getting it on turn 5, but that's okay. That's alright. Curtis attacks with just himself, 13k, a small little poke. Uh, Ikaka plays the the uh, the Blitz Order, uh, which will cost... Uh, which will cost 2 regards to actually be... Original power be 0, so Curtis will be attacking with 0, it will hit, but... No dam uh, but uh, no, it will not hit also because the damage is too low. But I activate Barra Magnus' ability right now, and this is where Kaka said also that I miss that he misplayed over here. So because he didn't notice that I would actually will call out two units, because if he had known, he probably would have taken this Curtis, and then after that he will use the he will use an ability to reduce the original power of the two to be to be zero. Also. So it'll be a lot more easier to guard in a sense. But yeah, he did say so in in the match and whatnot. So but yeah, uh, plus K, uh to all the units there. Uh, to the units that has been called out as well, and the main thing gets plus another tanky because there are more cards in the soul. There are 40 cards in the soul right uh, right now, so the great two uh, that I was hinting at earlier, earlier fight, basically plus uh, 28k because it gets plus 2k for every uh, for every card in the soul, and its base power is 2k, so that makes this so so yeah this is actually a huge power increase so it's got low power but it's got a huge power increase again a draw trigger draw one so where do i give power to do i give power yeah i don't know i give power to adamantine so yeah and then second check will be another bar of madness so yeah so i have the ability to persona right right there but i can see that my my deck is down to seven i have to get him sooner or later he's at four damage i'm at five i gotta catch him somewhere somehow so. but nevertheless uh yeah, Kaka right now just deciding where his guards is. He's got three cards in his hand also. He's counting out everything, just making sure that he's able to to do okay. He does have one damage to, to, to play with. He could guard the smaller Adamantine and then take the damage from the Great 2. But he does take Adamantine first. He gets a critical trigger, so must take it to, to the Vanguard. That will negate one of the 10Ks, obviously. Uh, they were it by 10K, so. Uh, we're looking at uh, 5, 20, 40k. So he's at 
So he just needs 20k for it as well. He got just nice 20k. Just nice. <coughs> Apologies everybody on that. But yeah, as you can see, uh, it passes over Kaka's turn and Kaka making use of the order uh, to be able to call search for his deck for uh, Amidamaru. Uh, to call out to a regard circle. Let me just see if I can pull up the, the order here. So, yeah. Yep, so if you don't have an Amidamaru Vanguard, search deck for, for Amidamaru and call. Uh, if you have a Yo Vanguard, of course, also. Uh, this really gets past 10k. Then, if you do not have. Oh, sorry, if you have, then your Vanguard gets past 10k. If you don't have, then you call an Amidamaru, Amidamaru from your deck into the regard circle. So, one more time. Just going. Uh, just gonna call out. Uh, uh, I mean, I'll run for there. So, yeah. And because of Amidamaru's ability, so he does get it. Uh, I believe there was no oversoul. So, by right there, Amidamaru would not get the plus critical. But it doesn't matter. Let me tell you why. Because I decide to PG this. And I am debating over whether if uh whether if i want to keep the persona right or not so i decided you know what? i need more guards here i think i need more guards here i gotta be careful so first check over trigger so <laughs> both us having a nice laugh over there so, so over trigger 100 million to to Amidamaru, but the most important part is the additional effect which is that you choose one of your opponent's vegas and deal one damage to it so we forgot about that part as we play over here but it doesn't matter uh it doesn't matter if Amidamaru attacks or not i will still have to take one damage or so so yeah it's still a fun match. It's, it's a nice concept too as well. Oversoul versus 15 soul is quite a rad game as well. It's quite a rad concept and a rad game as well. So yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this as well. As I flash up the, the deck list right now, you can see uh, Kaka's deck. Now Kaka actually, uh, when when we were buying the Shaman King uh, boxes, there weren't a lot of people that actually buying the Shaman King boxes. Uh, because it's a collab set, only fans of the series would actually would get it. But, uh, so you can see actually Kaka, uh, you know, have cards in there. It's not the most optimal choices of cards, especially with Spirit of Fire, because there's the other Spirit of Fire that allows you to be able to force your opponent to get with two or more cards whenever he attacks. Uh, but otherwise, this is actually a strong, at its, ba at, you know, at its base power, a good deck uh, for, uh, for Asakura Yo that he has. And, you know, he is able to do a lot of things also in the crunch. And then I pass over to my Barra Madness deck. So now you can see actually I'm using Obaria and I'm using the the Trotted PG as well. And the main reason for that is because I didn't transfer over. Again, this is a practice session. So, you know, I saw no need to transfer over anything other than the Gratias because I was using a proxy for Gratias. You know, even in a in a, in a fight, car fight like this, so you can't really have the Gratias be, uh, you know, plain and proxied right there because, you know, it will just be confusing. Also. So, I can actually take the PGs as it is. I can take Obaya for what it is. It's fine. Uh, and, it's a, and if you replace it with the, with the proper PGs and the proper uh, uh, OT, you definitely will be able to get a lot more mileage out of this deck also. So but I hope you guys like this fight and I hope you guys like the two decks that you see over here and I hope you enjoy this also. Misplaced a little bit, but I hope you guys can had a still good time out of this also. So yeah, uh, with all that said, thank you guys again for joining us and we'll see you 